address post office to get my mail. Y'all got to stop this. It's, it's, it's your fault too. It's just not the challenges. No, so I'm just saying when we have a problem in, in this development that we have, how dare you tell me that you can't come to a meeting? Who do y'all think y'all are? If the problems are that bad, when we have five or six thousand people that live in that place, and you're gonna tell me that you can't show up, who do you think you are? Tell me. First of all, I'm 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 not understanding what you understand exactly what I said. I don't understand what I said. No, I don't. Oh yeah? No, I don't. There's something wrong with you. Hey, Kate, Kate, you, 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 Kate, your message was sent, okay? She don't understand. Well, I know. I'm sure the brand, they'll get together and they'll discuss it. First of all, I don't even know what meeting he's referring to, so that's why I'm Well, apparently they do have meetings at that location. At, okay, well, I've been the station manager officially for approximately about five months, and I haven't received any notification okay. to come to any meeting. All right. So, all right. Now, now you, you, you heard. You heard. Okay. Have all right. Don't get, don't get defensive. No, no, no. I'm not being defensive. I just want to clarify what he's okay. saying. Okay. If I'm, if, if I'm, in, in, if all right. You know what? You know what? Meeting, you know what he I'm said? Okay. Listen. What he point. said. Somebody should answer a phone there. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they answer a phone. I mean, it's potluck. I mean, you call, you may pick up, you may not pick up, but somebody should be dedicated to answering the phone there, because I have called and rang and rang and rang, but, you know, I go over to you people. Okay, all right, Keith? That, well, Keith, we do the best we can, don't do the best we can. Let's see if there's improvement, Keith. Okay, Andrea, go ahead. Especially if it's a, an address like that, the 780 or 782, where it's easily confused because the apartment numbers are the same <coughs> sequence, we can put a carrier route alert on two, it, two and the supervisors can it. verify the mail before they tie it down to go out to the street that it's in the right order. And they can also do spot checks and go and visit the location to make sure that they are putting the mail in the correct boxes mm -hmm. and check up behind the, the carriers who are covering so the people. The point is that they're only putting it by apartment. They're absolutely not reading. No, I understand what you're saying. They're not reading the names even on the box. Mm -hmm. So that's why we will do a um, more like a quality put control check. Put this in writing. We'll do more writing. quality control. Okay, thank you. Right over here, OB. <laughs> Tony, Tony had a question. Yeah, hey. So I'm going to ask this question for him. Actually, I have two questions. Um, appointments for passports. All post offices can have a, you can be able to make appointments. Not all of them you can make an appointment. That's an issue. We're in 2018. I should be able to make an appointment, go in within 15 minutes, take care of my business, and leave. I don't know why we don't do that at every single post office. It's sad that we don't do it. The second piece, uh, situational awareness with the uh, delivery uh, folks. They're listening to their headphones, they're talking on the phone, mm -hmm. they're not paying attention. Exactly. My wife was locked into the house and she wanted to get out of the house. She was knocking and pounding. I was on the phone with her and I was watching on the camera. I'm like, he's right there. He's right on the other side of the door. He said, he's not answering. 
That's sad. That he is within two feet and he's not opening the door because the door was jammed. So there's an issue there. Situational awareness. We can use the extra set of eyes in our neighborhoods during business hours when we're not home. I'm not asking them to, to you know, look out and start calling 911 everywhere, but if people see that they're paying attention, they'll hesitate before they commit a crime instead of being on their phone and their headphones. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one of the two issues that I have. When we and dressing people. properly. Sure. In reference to the passports, we have select locations, as you stated, that do passport appointments, and we have other locations that are open to the public to come in during specific hours um, for their um, passport needs. Um, that is not directed by us. That is done by the, um, the National Passport Department from the government, and they regulate that. That's not something regulated by the Postal Service, so we don't decide what location gets passport appointments and which one doesn't. That's done based on data. Okay. And well, there was on one that I went to, the 9 a.m. was the start of the passport services. I went there at 9, thinking I'd be the first one. There were 10 people ahead of me, uh, which is okay. But we waited from 9 until 9.15 until that window opened up. And the person was just sitting there. We're watching her, all of us. The line was at the door now for passport. Which location is this? This is on West Street. I don't know which one it is. Uh, maybe Parkchester, I don't know. But I don't understand that part. We're sitting there looking at the woman. Like, come on, we all need service here. Until 9.15, the window opened up. So we wasted 15 minutes of people racking up in that post office to get passport services. That's 15 valuable minutes. That line, will ne you can never recover from those 15 minutes for the rest of the day. Well, More than 15 like minutes. That, um, the area manager for that particular area, she can be, um, Jeannie will go back to her and notify her and then they can have a meeting with the station manager and the supervisor from that station. So they can have a meeting with them and let them know that their passport started at nine o'clock, that clerk should actually have already you, been on that window. Oh. I'm the supervisor and I work in the morning with that. We do a soft opening every day because of that at 8.30. And we also let them know that passports are also open on Saturdays from 9 to 12. If they're not able to make it. Opening time is 9. My clerks are open at 9. But because of the heavy volume of everyone trying to get passports, we open at 8.30, sometimes 8 o'clock. And that's a courtesy because of the fact. Once we give our tickets, it becomes a problem. We give our tickets. Once the tickets are given out, then we tell everyone to come back the next day. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't get a ticket. I heard about the ticket thing. It was a Saturday, and I went there at 9. No tickets were given out. Because you was already there. If you were in the back, you get a ticket. You already there to be But you know the problem to give tickets if you don't take care of people at 9 o'clock. No, we take care of people at 8 and 8.30. I'm there to open that. We're late. Off open at 8, 8.30. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Well, that's something, again, that I will bring back to the area manager, Ms. Paulino, and we'll address that. And um, they'll be more vigilant. Um, in reference to the situation you said where your wife was locked in the, the house, was it the house? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, and basically, yes, I agree with you. The carriers shouldn't be walking around with their headphones on, both ears. We always say, if you are going to have a headphone, you should have one it in your mouth. You can't have both on because... That's a safety concern. You're crossing the street, God forbid, you can get hit by a car. You know, you're not aware of your surroundings, and that's something that we preach to our carriers as well. And that's something that I will bring back to the district again, and we'll have to reissue that service call because it's something that needs to be they done because the enforcement station. Right. Now, it's when job. they're outside, they right. feel like no one's watching, that. so that's why they do it. But that's something that we'll bring back to them. And See, we'll they don't even wear uniform. They don't. Even, they just like slobs now. No uniform. Hi, I live on Allerton, and it's a mix of one zero four six seven and six nine. We have seniors there, and especially during times like the holiday season, we were told that sometimes you hire temporary workers or part-time workers. They show up in plain clothes. Mm -hmm. The seniors and other people, they're scared to open their doors to someone who doesn't look like they're a postal worker. Now, they may have the IDs, but people can forge IDs. They're still weary. If they can see that they have a uniform or even just a shirt or something that identifies them, they'd be more 
um, willing to open the door to them instead of worrying that it's somebody who's about to raise you at home. Mm -hmm. Is that something that can be done? Ms. Castro, in reference to that, that's, that's great. We actually did address that because that was a concern that was brought to our attention. So what we've initiated now in our Carrier Academy, now that we've extended it to give them more training, before they start, they're given a hat and a t-shirt to identify themselves so that people do know they work for the post office because they're not entitled to a uniform until their past probation period of 90 days. After they pass their probation period of 90 days, then they're entitled to get a uniform allowance to purchase uniforms. Thank you. I listen, uh, last one. Uh, no, it'll be all right. Yeah. Microphone. Um, I'm just curious to know, you said you have a high rate of attrition and, and turnover. What is the reason behind that? Is it because you've been having so many problems that you're getting rid of people? Is it that people can't handle the pressure? Are they overworked? I'm just curious to know what they are. If they are overworked. Uh oh, Jeremy cut you off. If they are overworked, maybe that's the reason that they're leaving. I'm just curious to know what, what's the reasoning behind well, that. Basically, um, the high rate of attrition is due to retirement. A lot of our people are retiring, and um, this year alone we lost...